Good morning again everybody, welcome back to Lily Lulu. My name is Karen, I'm the Junk Journal Geek in case you haven't been here before and if you are a returning visitor, a warm welcome to you, thank you for joining me again today. So today I'm going to make a start on my next design team project for Sunny Creates. This kit is right up my street, it's called Delft Blue. So I'll just do a quick flip through first so that you can see all the pages and then we will start putting something together. So blue is my favourite colour. Uh, my favourite colour is duck egg blue. Um, so I like anything in the colour palette sort of either side of that, you know, pale blues into the pale greens. So this kit, I always love blue junk journal kits I just think they're lovely look at that house I'd love to live in a house like that absolutely beautiful isn't it and all these lovely people and the teacups you know I do love a cup of tea <laughs> so yeah this kit is me in a kit <laughs> look at those shoes aren't they fabulous I can't wear nice shoes anymore. I've got arthritis in my feet. Caused by a hockey accident at school. So, not been able to wear nice shoes for a long time. That beautiful dress. Looks like a blue wedding dress, doesn't it? Gorgeous. And that little baby. So cute. And then we've got some sort of background pages. So we've got some blue flowers, a bit of foliage, some stripes. This is in a, a different sort of shade of blue, but there are, when you look in the blues, there are different shades here. It goes from a, a darker blue here, and then you've got this sort of colour in here. I'm not sure how well it's picking up the differences on the screen, but these pages are all printed on just normal photocopier paper so that's um just 80 gsm copier paper got some polka dots on a blue background and then blue polka dots on a white background and we have some more stripes then we go into the ephemera pages so as usual we've got two landscape journal cards and two portraits and I've printed these on lightweight cards this is 200 GSM and we have some pockets some flags and an envelope and then we have some tickets some labels and a file folder We have a couple of postcards and another tag. Let's just turn that, that round so you can see that postcard properly. And then we have a bigger envelope here and a couple of larger ticket shaped pieces. Another envelope. This could be a belly band or a bookmark or a, a, you know some sort of tuck. And then a couple more tickets. And we have three fancy shaped tags here with the scalloped tops. I always print these out and then afterwards I think, oh, I should have put them through my Cricut and it could have cut all these fancy shapes out. But I never think of it until after I've printed it. And if you do that, you need to um, set it up on the Cricut and tell it to print and cut so you can't just jump to the cut part so we've got some a corner tucks and a couple of little pockets more tags this beautiful lady more tags and some little mini tags and i think that's the last page yeah so um let's just start folding these pages and deciding what we're going to do. I did pull out, I've pulled out some 
little pile here of all blue bits and pieces um, that we might use. And a purple one, apparently. I don't know why that's in there. That should be in my purple bag with my purple journal that I'm working on. Um, <coughs> I did buy in the charity shop a few weeks ago these lovely... They're like placemats. I suppose you'd use them on your dressing table or... Um, and I thought I might use that to cover the cover, but I think this blue is not the right blue, so I'm not 100% sure if I will be doing that or not at the moment, but I thought I'd show you those. There was two in the pack, brand new, Laura Ashley, never been out the pack, these were, they still have the labels on and everything, so they're lovely. But it might be better to save these for my teal journal because these are a bit the, the colour's not showing very well on screen I'm noticing but this is like a grey greeny this is more like a duck egg blue um, and the blues in this generally although um, goes with that page um, but you know these are more of a bluey blue so I'm not sure about that I'm going to think about it but I just thought I'd show you that. And I thought for the cover, I would use one of these Amazon packaging envelopes. So we might get that done today. Don't know. So on the backs, I've just printed some background papers from another kit I've got, um, which I bought on Etsy. So let's just do some folding. And I thought I might make this a smaller journal than usual. Um, so... I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see how many pages we've got, how many signatures we want. If we want just one or what have you. So, how are you all today? I hope you're all well and happy. Getting back into the swing of things now after the Christmas break. It's very, very cold here today. It's We've just had a weather warning for ice and it says it's going to start snowing any minute now. I'm not convinced it's going to start snowing, but it is very, very cold. So my fingers don't want to work today. Let's do one round the other way. Now I need to decide out of these pages what I want, you know, to look at first in the signature, what I want. The middle spread to look like so let's just have a look here and have see what we might want look my idea of heaven a cup of tea and a sewing machine <laughs> writing pages here so if we end up doing two signatures maybe so I think this is 16 pages I've got here all together um, I'll probably add a couple more pages in so if we said if we were going to have and these was the dotty one wasn't it a stripe so we want a stripe on this pile which one had the other dotty one in I thought I just saw a dotty one is there a dotty one yes now we've got Two, three, four, five there, and three there. So I want to move one of these over. That's quite similar. That's the other writing page. Come on, we've got to pick one, Karen. There's four in each signature there. 
So I think I might have that in the middle of one signature. And which one should we have in the middle of the other? Maybe we'll have another tea. So then what do I want on the outside? Sorry, this might be very annoying to you, but I always find it useful to see people doing this, to, you know, see what their process is. I'm going to have that on the front of one. And I think I'll have that on the front of the other. And then we've got. These left, so we'll have one going that way, one going that way, and then one going that way, and one going that way. So, this is my cover of one signature, and then what did I do with my middle? That was my middle. One signature. That's the front of my. No, that was the front of my second. And I think this one was the middle, wasn't it? No, this one was my middle. So I want a back one. And a front one. Um, this might get moved around, you know, as I'm working on the journal, but this is just how I get started. So I've got some idea of what I'm doing and where things are going. But as I start working on it, I might decide that I want to switch pages around. Or... So that's where we're starting. So I thought this might be quite a nice size as a cover so I'm going to need to open this up so I will just use my knife so I can just take off a sliver because I haven't got my guillotine back out yet um, if you haven't been here before my craft table is in the middle of my living room and dining room well living room and kitchen and the dining tables in the kitchen um so over christmas everything had to be packed away so that we had space and um i've started getting everything back out so that i could start crafting and doing videos again but i haven't managed to get absolutely everything 
back out yet. So we're working with what we have, which is never a bad thing. So that could be our cover. If I can take these bits off without damaging it, I will. Just so it's a little bit flatter. And then as I say, I did have um, the idea that I'd use those crocheted cloths, but now I'm thinking they're not quite the right colour. But I've, I'm sure in my box of fabrics, I have a fabric that would work with this that I could pop on the cover. But I need to think where my box of fabrics is. <laughs> So we could have that, we could even use that as a closure, couldn't we? You know, leave that as a feature. Well, that's not particularly straight. It's not square, but maybe we will. We'll see. I'll straighten this edge up in case we do decide to um, go with that. It also might be a bit tricky to cover that part you know, because it's a like flat shape. So let's pop the cover on this before I do myself an injury. That is how that's going to look. I'm just wondering how much space I've got if I could actually make a little spine here. So I'm just going to put you on pause for one moment because I will need my scoreboard to do that and I'll have a quick hunt for that fabric. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back again. So I also got out, I found my fabric I was thinking of. I also found my box of ephemera that I've made at other times, so I thought there might be something in there that we can use. And I got my scoreboard. So let's just have a look. <coughs> Excuse me. I am still have this cough from um, when I had the flu. The cough is lingering. Um, I'm just wondering how much space I have left at the edge there. So if I line that up where the centre crease is, there's about three quarters of an inch left. So if I score unfortunately move that over. Um, I'm not sure if this is going, this is too thick to score. Mm. So if I go quarter of an inch this way, should really be doing them, this on the other side, shouldn't I? And a quarter of an inch that way. Let's turn it over and do it on the other side. So that gives us a half inch spine. again because um, hubby is still on nights so it's early in the morning he's in bed Max has got 
gone out with his ladies for his walk. So, while the house is quiet, I thought I'd try and get this video done, but I am conscious that I don't want to make a lot of noise. Right, so, we now have a little bit of the spine there. left over I could actually use those score marks to sew my signatures in I wonder if that would be too much room Do another I'm just thinking, I think a one inch spine might be too big. There are some score lines there. How big would that be? I hope this is not boring you watching me figure this out but um, as I say I like to see people doing things like this so you can see the thought process and how they ended up with what they did. Right, let's have a look with these score lines that are already here. I don't know if you can see but there's a, a score line just, yeah I think that's going to be much too wide, isn't it, for a small journal. useful to know if you've got these envelopes um you could make a, a a little fat journal right so it looks like i might end up with a one inch spine so i'm going halfway between those points Got lots of nice fancy <laughs> patterns along the spine there. Right, so that's one. That's two. So let's score those. bigger than I was anticipating to fill that and I don't think we're going to have the closure on there so let's 
stop faffing about with that for a minute. Put the scoreboard away. Well, not put it away, put it to the side. And then I'm going to show you this fabric and see what you think. This fabric is from Stamping Up. It is no longer available. Um, if you've been here a while, you'll know I used to be a Stamping Up rep. Um, I'm not sure if this fabric was ever available in the, the UK, but I know they don't do fabric anymore. Um, this I know this was available in the US and um, I managed to get hold of some and I've had it for years and years and years. But I thought this would work with this paper. Um, so I'm thinking of covering the cover in this. That's what I'm thinking. So I think that will work. But I'm going to leave that for now because I'm not. I'm going to think about that cover whether I want to cut it down anymore uh, or whether I want to put some more pages. Well, I am going to put some more pages in the journal, but um, all my extra papers are up in my bedroom at the moment. And as I say is in bed so this i don't know if you wanted to try and see if you could get hold of this but the fabric was called twitter painted and it came in sets of three so i've got this cockerels with blue and pink flowers i've got a pink polka dot and this blue so and it's the blue as i say that I had in mind to use. So I think we probably will do that. Um, so what else did I want to do today? Um, I had in mind that where we've got these lovely images, I might do one of my envelope pages, you know, so that the people peek through or something. I think they're probably too far down at the bottom. Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to work because they all seem to be down at the bottom. I love that house. Right. So I'm going to leave it there for now. You've seen the papers. You've got an idea of what I'm going to be doing. I think I might have to do some of this off camera um, while I fiddle about with the cover size and everything to see exactly what I'm doing. So I will leave you there for now um, and I will be back again in another couple of days to show you what I've done and how far I've got. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you found watching my thought, thought process helpful and not confusing. Um, I will leave a link to this particular kit in the description below. Um, if you have any questions, if I've forgotten to tell you anything, just ask and I will do my best to answer you. So take care, look after yourselves and enjoy your own crafty time. Bye bye.